Hey everyone, it's Jen and I'm coming to you from my home in New Hampshire. And today I wanted to share with you um, a story about encouragement and the little things and the little words that you can either pass on to someone or if someone passes it on to you, it can change your whole perspective and your whole outlook on your situation. And yesterday, my family and I took a trip to New York City. And it took us longer than we thought to get there. What was a four-hour car ride turned out to be an eight-hour car ride. We had all five kids with us. They were tired, cranky, hungry. It was cold and dark when we got to New York City. It was very windy. And I was actually trying to do a video while I was there um, for my Empower business. And I'm trying to do one video a day before the Austin event. And it was so windy last night and the babies were cranky and crying and screaming, so I couldn't get that done, and I couldn't log in all day and do my blog or my marketing, and I was getting very frustrated, and I felt like I wasn't, I was missing something. It was one day that I had spent totally offline. I felt lost, and I was getting a little upset about it, and my, my fiancé was nice enough to go into a Starbucks, and he was getting us a coffee, and he came out with this little mug for me. And see, it's Rudolph and Rudolph's mom. Aren't they cute? Gotta love that movie, right? Classic. And on the back, it says, whoa, there we go. I'll bet you'll be the best. And you know, like, it just totally changed my, my mood and changed my mindset and reminded me that, okay, breathe. It was one day that I didn't get to do what I needed to do. Tomorrow was another day, back at it, and so it was encouraging to hear that he believes in me and that he supports me, and that made all the difference. And it actually reminded me of another story, and believe me, you won't hear me tell too many good stories about corporate America because I think, well, that's a rant for another time, but I do have a couple of good ones, <laughs> and this is one where... A story of encouragement and, and the words really can help launch your career or your business. And I was working, it was probably early 1990s. I was young, probably my early 20s, 22. And I was working in a branch for a bank in Massachusetts in a small town called Belmont. And I was working at a branch there and I was a platform rep. So I was the person that you talked to at the desk, opening accounts, closing accounts, any type of customer service. And I was good at it. And I did okay. My sales numbers, they checked our sales numbers and I was, I was good enough. And so I was sort of coasting along. I'll have to say I was young and, you know, I was more in, in, uh, more thinking that partying was maybe a priority or hanging with my friends or who was my boyfriend or those things seemed to be more on my mind than what I was doing at work. So I think I was just sort of skating by. You all know what I mean. And I had a manager at the time, the branch manager. His name was Paul. And he was a very, very powerful sales manager, branch manager at the time. He was one of those managers that was sent from branch to branch when they were doing slowly in sales. And he would go and somehow his presence or whatever, he would work his magic and the numbers would improve and the branch would be recovered. So he was that type of manager and he was there, very dynamic, very good at, with, with people, um, amazing with customers and had that magnetic personality. So he pulled me into his office one day and he said he wanted to talk to me and I just said, sure. And I sat down and he asked how I was doing and he got out my numbers and it was just talking about, you know, you're doing okay. And, but he wanted to tell me something. And I was curious because it wasn't time for my annual review or anything like that. And he had said that he was a bit, he was very, very disappointed with how, my performance. And he was seriously thinking of maybe transferring me to another branch or telling me that basically if I continued down the road I was going, that I wouldn't have a career at this bank. Like that would be it. I would either be fired or eventually that would just be, I would stay where I was and that would be it for me. And I was shocked because even though I was sort of being a, a slacker and coasting at the time, I'm also a very driven person on the inside. And I've always been one to, if, I, if I'm given a challenge, I rise to the challenge or try to achieve the top if I can. 
but for some reason at that point in time, it just was not, like I said, at the top of my priority list. But he knew this about me. And it's funny because I had not been this fire fireball performer, but he somehow picked up who I was on the inside and what I was capable of. And he just looked me in the eyes and said, you can do way better than this. He said, I expect better from you. Not only can you do better, but I expect it. And you need, you should be sitting in a manager's chair in a branch. Now being so young, I was just like, what, (laughs) you know, me. And, but I have to say being who I am, being a Leo, Leo woman, you know, sort of piqued my interest that, Hmm, really? I could achieve that. And I think this is a challenge coming up. So he said to me, I'm going to tell you something. And he said that, and of course I listened in because when he talked, you listened. And when he gave advice on how to better yourself, you tuned in. So he said that the branch, the bank system was about to launch a new product. And this was brand new for customers, never had been offered before. And he said, take this product. I'm going to tell you what it is. And I'm going to show you what it's about. And I'm going to give you some books, learn it, master it. And when it launches, you sell it because this is going to be big. And people, if you sell and you do well with this, people are going to be watching and this will start your career. And I was like, wow. So at that point I was really fired up. I was starting to get that fired up feeling. And so he introduced me to the product and what it was. Uh, it sort of gave me like an insider's little secret there because it hadn't launched yet. And I did exactly what he said. You know, and I guess I could have gone two ways, right? I could have said, yeah, well, whatever. I can continue doing what I'm doing. I don't really want to put the effort in anyway. He has no he's talking about. I'm not good enough. I can't do that. Or you can rise to the challenge, right? Let's, so you have two choices there. Or you can take the challenge and rise to it. And believe me, when you have someone like that who is successful and very well respected and very good at what they do saying to you that they see the same potential in you it just does something to your spirit it does something to your soul and it opens up your heart and opens up your mind and like I said it ignites that fire that fire in you that you know that the power is within you to succeed and achieve what you want And he knew that this was something that I wanted to do and that I was capable of doing, even if I didn't consciously realize it at the time, he picked up on it. And that is pretty, that's pretty brilliant stuff. And people who are really good at reading people or dealing with people, they can, they can sense that. So I appreciated that for him. I'll be forever grateful. And I learned that product and I went and I sold it and I was good at it because he could also see I had very good um, customer building, customer relationship skills and good with talking with people. So I went ahead and sold this product to the people that I thought was appropriate because that's also something that's been my policy since I was young is that if I'm in sales, it's honest and with integrity. I don't just sell things to people who don't need them or people who can't afford them or I don't push it on secretly so that they buy something and don't even realize it hit them until later on. And I sold it to the people that qualified for it and that needed it and that would actually benefit them. And it just, I just took off. And before I knew it, I had, there was a sales contest launched in this, in our branches. And I was at the top of the sales contest. I was number one. And in fact, there was another sales rep in a much busier branch in Cambridge. We were neck and neck every day. And it got to the point where, you know, the management would be watching to get the results every day to see who was in the lead today. So the fact that I was in a smaller branch was probably a little bit more, um, a little more of an achievement because I didn't have the volume coming in. So I did, unfortunately though, (laughs) I didn't actually win the contest, um, because our, although I won by sheer volume of number of accounts opened, another representative in a very, very small branch opened up the number of accounts needed to put their branch at the top. So basically it was relative to your branch, to your branch's volume. So even though I may have opened up a hundred accounts, he opened up five and his branch was expected to get seven where my branch might have been expected to get a hundred. So the, the percentage opened, he did win, but in sheer volume and number of accounts opened, I did win that and I did get second place and I was happy with that. I was happy with what I accomplished. And in fact, that year I was asked to join the management training program and I became branch manager 
I think the youngest in the system, in fact, I think I was 22 or 23. So I was pretty proud of that. And it was because of those words. It was because someone took the time, saw the potential in me and took the time to speak about it to me because I just needed that little kick in the bum. Just needed that fire lit underneath. And sometimes that's all it takes. So remember the words, I'll bet you'll be the best. And so think about it today. Think about maybe if you might have those words to say to someone that you think might need it. Or give me some comments below. Let me know if you've had a situation where someone, whether it be a friend or a family member or a coworker or a manager, someone who gave you inspiring words and it really transformed your life. And also you'll notice, click on my link below to join my Empowered Freedom Seekers team because this is another place where you will find the support, the transformation, the coaching that you need to be successful in your business, in your life, and live the life of your dreams. So until next time, everybody, good night and stay cool. Or if you're on the other end, are you someone who's feeling frustrated, like you're spinning your wheels, like you're getting nowhere in your business, you're in a job you can't stand, or having trouble in other areas of your life where you feel stuck and you just feel like you, you have that little fire inside, you know it's there, but perhaps you could use a little boost. I encourage you to click my link below, contact me, let's talk, don't wait another day, join my team now and let's get started. Let's get you started today. Just do it, get in and we'll transform your life, I promise you. So that's all for today, good night. Peace.